Barry obviously is a guy that many people in the city want to see take Brian Price's job, but Brian Price is the manager right now. John, another great column this week. Let's give it up for John. For another great column <laughs> yes. this week, John. Uh, you talked to him quite a bit about it, and he kind of deflected the question, saying that he was more interested in player development right now. And I saw that quite a bit in spring training, specifically with Jay Bruce. He worked with him quite a bit. Um, when uh, do we see him, I guess, yeah. on the bench? You know, I, when, when I initially talked to him, I thought, yeah, he deflected it. Then when I went back and listened to my tape, he said at this point in time okay. and right now. So he left it at open. This point, yeah, I, I, think, I think down the road, you know, I, I think he'll look at it. I, the other thing is if, if, say, they offered, if the job opened at the end of this year, is that the first job you want, a team that's, that you, you – has ver virtually no chance of winning. Yeah. Um, that would endure a lot of bad will, not, not good will for him. But I it, the, the thing is, if, if he's going to take the job or if it ever opened up, he's probably going to get a three-year contract. And, you know, Barry's a very confident guy. I think he'd, he'd be an ideal manager. He's, he's, he's fluent in Spanish. Um, and, you know, you have a guy that's in the Hall of Fame. Players know that. They respect sure. that. Um, and he, he's a very cerebral guy, um, really thought about the game a lot throughout his, his career. So, I, you know, I, I think, he, I think he, he's a good fit. Whether he'd be successful or not, you never know until they get into the job. And, um, and he has to decide he wants to do it. You uh, mentioned in the column not a lot of managerial experience. I mean, I guess he only coached Team Brazil in the World Baseball Classic. But we're starting to see a lot of recent retirees yeah. in baseball. Mike Matheny, Robin Ventura, Walt Weiss kind of make that immediate jump from, you know, from the field to, to the dugout. Cannon, I mean, is this a, is this a move you want to see happen you know sooner what? than later? I'm so torn about it. Um, and maybe it's just because, like, you know, I was – a teenager and a big Reds fan and seeing the Tony Perez situation, how that was handled. Yeah. And that's the last thing I want is to have something like that happen with Barry Larkin, who is like, you know, one of my all time favorite Reds players. So you have to like really think about it. And, and I'm, so I'm kind of like, wait, I mean, do I want it? If, if I had a choice of have Barry Larkin come to manage the Reds and have him be really successful, then, then absolutely. absolutely. I would rather have him be successful as a Reds manager than anyone else. But there's just a lot of risk involved there because he's never managed because frankly hall of famers don't generally make very good managers right. i mean everyone's different every situation's different but usually the better the player the poorer the manager yeah um you know we've seen we've seen lots of good examples of that it's usually the, the guy who was a journeyman backup catcher who was a fantastic mm -hmm. manager uh so but all that said i don't think brian price is the answer as a manager of this team i mean watching that game he just got completely dominated by Joe Madden. But Joe, Joe I mean, Joe is arguably the best manager in the game, right? Totally. Now. I'm not saying that that uh, that that it's it's really all on Brian Price. Right. But that said, I mean, the Reds have had a long stretch of managers who are really bad at managing in-game situations. Dusty Baker was bad. <laughs> watching Dusty Baker face Tony La Russa was just ridiculous. Mm. And watching Joe Madden face Brian Price last night, I mean, it just, or not last night, but Tuesday night, it just seemed like every move, Madden's like six moves ahead of him, and Brian Price is just kind of flailing about. And it's, it's just... But it's hard to, to make filet mignon out of B jerky though and i know you like both of those i do things. hey and and you know what preparation for each are different right right so, so think about that so here's the thing what do we got to lose you know we all cincinnatians we all love barry larkin he's amazing and we just saw what happened up in cleveland with with the hope the determination let's make barry larkin our lebron james i think he could put it on his shoulders and why not let him dive in there and do it i mean the 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 front office does have to respect that it might take a little bit of time, but you know maybe with that one key that manager, that that guy who knows how to win, to come in here and who's respected, like John said, man, give him the keys.